So it's been a while since I've done one of these. Thought I'd do a little update diary. Um, the little dot in the distance is Leffy. He either smells the dog who's just left or he really needs to go to the toilet. So I'll turn it around before he does. Um, been a busy old time work-wise. Doing lots and lots of work. But also been a tumultuous time for my mental health. I've had some time off here and there, which isn't great, but needs must. Um, work is still being very supportive, which is good. Um, we, me and Colleen, you'll have seen maybe on my social media before I got rid of it, we're down in London for the Remembrance Day Parade uh, with the Not Forgotten, and that was a massive privilege for me. I think probably one of the biggest most humbling experiences of my life to be alongside some proper you know old and bold as we would call them who've been all over the world and you know even as far back as World War II just to, to be in amongst those sort of people is, is very very strange experience but for me it was a very good one it was very good that I got to got to do that with Colleen by my side so I uh, I think that and then the, the festival remembrance the day before was was just mind blowing to be three boxes over from the royal box and see something that I've watched every year on TV and bring brings emotion to me just sat in the living room watching it so you can imagine how much of an experience that was to actually be sat amongst it all. Uh, I mean, it takes it it does take its toll physically, mentally, and. It, it takes a while to sort of compute those things that you've seen and get back into rhythm, but definitely something that I'm glad I did. Something I nearly didn't do, but as usual, Colin gives me a kick up the butt and uh, makes me do these things, which is good. Uh, tomorrow, I'm taking part in a in, in a, a panel on or a workshop with the University of Kent, who are doing some work on. Uh, making the internet safer for, for kids and so I was approached to be an SME on that which was again just crazy to think that people want to reach out to me to help out with those sort of things but it is definitely one of my massive passions is to to try and make the internet a place where everyone you know but but kids especially can go and not have to worry about danger because you know, it's the internet's not going anywhere. It's it's going to be a massive part of our our lives going forward. Or if you listen to if you listen to old uh, Zuckerberg, it's it's going to be our metaverse. Whatever buzzword they want to use for these things, it's it's technology's not going anywhere except bigger and bigger and brighter and better. Although better depends on your viewpoint and, and the way you look at things. Um, just let you see that if he's still. He doesn't actually, oh, he's a good toilet. He doesn't actually walk around this field. He makes me walk around the field and he cuts across it, um, which always gives me and Colleen a bit of a chuckle. Um, I think at the minute there's there's some content I do want to do on, on the channel. Um, I suppose the biggest, the biggest change for me recently has been that I've got rid of all of my social media except for my LinkedIn and my YouTube channel. Uh, I know that the downside to that is that I won't be able to advertise things as well as I used to, but I think Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, uh, Snapchat, all of these things are just, they're no good for my mental health in the slightest. And the, the benefits don't outweigh consequences as far as I'm concerned so I'm going to be relying on you people to to share my stuff more uh, if you can if you want to but it will certainly it will certainly help me um, as doing the actual content helps me so please do when you see my posts on LinkedIn or if you see a video pop up please do share it on your social media um, I would also say just Take so take take the advice that I was given, which I wasn't able to follow, but take social media with a pinch, or a bucket, or a huge bucket of salt. The things that people post on there, 
aren't necessarily the truth or what's really happening. They like to post the, the best versions of themselves or the best versions of their lives. And they're not all like me who go on there and post the truth about what's going on with them. Leffy, this way, boy. Come on. Good boy. So, you know, I, I think that I was getting to the point where I was just posting far too much negativity. People were still messaging me and saying what I was posting was helping them and, and you know, and I appreciate that. But at a certain point, me lying in bed at three or four in the morning, I'm not necessarily thinking close to positive thoughts. And that's the time when I would jump on social media and post something. So I'll do these diaries going forward and, and hopefully there'll be some positivity in there and the uh, the wee man who is kicking up a fuss as usual come on little man good boy yeah i think that's about it for updates wise hopefully i'll get some content on in the near future if there's anything that people want to see or if there's any apps or or educational stuff or information that they would like to get out there or, or know more on please let me know drop me a message in in the comments or my email somewhere on the youtube site as well just uh, get in touch and uh, i'll see what i can do but uh it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from the lazy one who cuts across the corners of the fields cheers all take care